I guess I should prove that I do still sing whistle notes. <laughs> hey Zaniacs, welcome back to the Zane channel. I am Zane Rima, and today, wait, first of all, this is not the right color. A bra right here. Don't worry, I just want to change. Three, two, one. Wow. And it's strapless too. Anyway, so today I will be doing another whistle note video, which I haven't done in a while. A long time actually but I wanted to do this video to help you guys this is the perfect video for you if you've been making a lot of rookie mistakes in your whistle notes and you want to fix them and you don't know who to trust you got me maybe I'm not professional I'm not a vocal coach I'm not gonna say I am if you want to trust me in my words go for it please give this a thumbs up common whistle mistake number one you're pushing too hard with your closed throat. You're not keeping your larynx relaxed when you sing whistle notes. As you're doing that, you're accidentally putting too much force. So let me go over that. You're not supposed to feel super tight in your throat because that means you're trying to close your throat and squeeze a note out. Instead, I want you to think of an open throat. When you do push out the whistle note, it doesn't close all the way. Yeah, it doesn't feel like my throat is closing to squeeze out a note. It kind of feels like an open throat contracting just a little bit just to push out the sound. And that's okay, as long as you're not doing, you know? Let me show you a quick example. If you're doing a whistle note with an open throat, I want you to imagine taking a yawn, right? Like, oh, I'm tired. You feel the openness in your throat? Like, focus on that. Oh, <laughs> You want to feel open. Just to get a taste of what it's like to do it the wrong way, I want you to imagine you're gonna cough. <coughs> or like you're gonna cough, but don't cough. So, tightness in your throat, like it's closing. Some people do that to squeeze out the whistle note. That's not gonna get you to sound natural, and it's not gonna get you to push out a whistle note so elegantly and smoothly. No, you're not gonna achieve it that way, so don't do it that way. Think of openness and little contraction. I think that's one of my best ways to explain it. So don't do whistle notes with a closed throat. That's no bueno. Common whistle mistake number two. You're inhaling a whistle and you're starting to sound like a tea kettle. No hate to the person who thought about inhaling whistles, but I just highly suggest you go a different approach. For example, if you're doing inhaling whistle notes, even just to get you started, <laughs> it just feels uncomfortable. Like I'm supposed to be taking in air, but not too much, not too little, and pushing it out, not inhaling to get the sound out because how are you going to sing a song with a whistle in it and have enough time to you know breathe and everything and ah, I got a whistle ah. it's not you know, I want to try it you know I, I don't want to be too doubtful um, Mariah Carey's hurry babe <laughs> I'm really gonna try, I'm not gonna, you know, shade or anything, I'm, I'm like legit gonna try this technique. <laughs> See, I don't know when to breathe, because if I breathe and then breathe, I'm just gonna have so much air. <laughs> <Whew. laughs> Wait. Oh my gosh, this looks so weird, okay. Okay, this is not good. Okay. I can't do it. I'm trying. I promise you I'm trying so hard. I hope that explains that. Common whistle mistake number three. You're putting too much tone in your whistle and it's not starting to sound like a whistle anymore. You need to find a balance. If I'm going, uh, and I was told to push more tone, then, uh, you're going from a whisper to a talking voice. You need to find that balance because depending on the song, same thing when you're singing a whistle note, it's probably better to sing with more air. So that is like a balance between air and tone. Now, if you're putting too much tone, just push out more air. Breathe out more air along with your whistle note. Instead of, you're going, 
an airy whistle note makes it not stand out so much which it's not supposed to it's not supposed to be the main part of singing it's supposed to be like the sprinkles or the cherry on top so having it smooth and silky and airy is the best way I see a lot of people making this mistake they're overpowering the whistle notes with more tone and it puts a lot more strain to your voice that's why singing it airy is a lot safer in my opinion because you're just breathing it out and when you're focusing on putting too much tone you might sacrifice you know the tightness and you might do improper form with your throat and I don't want you to do the incorrect technique so <laughs> instead of because then that's when it starts to sound unnatural. You know what I mean? Mistake number four, you are practicing too much. 15 minutes per day. You don't want to go sing whistle notes the entire day for the entire week. Like, that's not healthy. Like, I know at first when you're starting to learn, you get so invested in it and you're like, ah, I think I did it this time. And you want to keep going. Trust me. I've been there. And what happened? Nothing really bad happened. I was just practicing the entire day my voice got tired my whistles got a little bit weaker and I was trying to develop this technique which I'm teaching you guys on this channel so you're welcome and don't do what I did I learned from my mistakes I didn't know any better so I'm telling you now if you're singing too many whistle notes and you're tiring yourself out or you feel like your voice got shot you need a break okay don't practice too much you're gonna develop an improper technique you may lose it for good and you might potentially damage your singing voice and I don't want you to blame me for that so I'm telling you now okay now mistake number five you're not singing whistle notes enough now it's hypocritical from what I last said but sometimes people think that okay I don't want to damage my whistle notes so it's better to do it just like two minutes a week. No, you're not gonna progress. You're not gonna develop muscle memory so that it would be easier the next time you do whistle notes. So for example, like when I had my braces on, the entire time actually, whenever I had changes with my mouth or my jaw was changing, sometimes I wouldn't sing at all throughout the day or even sing whistle notes. And I see that my voice is starting to change and it's harder to get back on it because like I said, it's muscle memory if you stop for a while and you get back on it it's it's like you started day one you know it's like losing weight you're not gonna make any progress if you just work out 10 minutes every two weeks you gotta be consistent don't overwork yourself stay at the standard amount for whistle notes maybe 15 minutes every day or every other day now if you're sick and you have no other choice um, it's still okay to do the warm-ups for whistle notes as long as you're not you know singing them like, like doing the warm-ups like buzzing it I don't think it'll do you any harm just so those are five common whistle note mistakes that I see in a lot of people and I want to help you guys out I'm not a professional but I probably went through the same struggles that you have been through if that's why you're on this video if not if you just want to say hi what's up can males sing whistle notes yes check out Adam Lopez because he can hit them high notes that some females can't even That's C sharp and it's off the piano. I could never. <laughs> yes, males can sing it too. I feel like everyone has the potential to. It's easier for some people to because their voice is naturally higher. You shouldn't give up. But if you feel like nothing that you're doing is working, then it's okay. It's not for everybody and you'll be fine without it. Just focused on your regular singing and wow everybody, okay? Before we go, you notice that I changed my bra in the beginning. Like I'm not wearing it a bra. I can just... Oh, I want to thank Upbra for sponsoring this video. I don't know if you guys remember me reviewing Upbra before. So they sent me two bras here. I'm wearing one of them right now. Pretty much, you order your size. If you're a girl, oh my gosh, Zane, why are you reviewing a bra on your channel? And if you're a guy, now Zane, why are you reviewing a bra on your channel? You already know what bras are, so please come on. If you're down to like learn and be cool with it and be open-minded like I promote on this channel, 
and Abra, and it's so cool. I got white and black. I can't show you. It literally ups your bra. You don't have to stick tissues. So this is up bra. Make sure you get your size. Did a mosquito bite me here? Probably. This is what it looks like on the inside. This one isn't strapless, but the one I'm wearing right now is. The reason why it's called up bra is because there's something inside here that pushes up your boobies. So you pretty much pull the string to pull this bra, and then you pull this string to pull this bra. So what you do is you pull it, and then you attach it to however far you want. And as you're doing that, you see the tightness it gets? So it gives you that like extra give. So I'm pulling it, right? You see? Bam, you got boob. Is this for those who just want, you know, extra help, you know? Why not, you know? So I just keep it standard. I don't want it to push up too hard, um, but that's like fine for me. Up bra, what's up bra? I told you what's up bra. It comes in this cute box. You just order your bra size and you can check on the site. It's in the description. So I have a coupon for you ladies, of course. Or gentlemen, if you want a bra, go for it. I'm not stopping you. I don't judge on this channel. Channel. So my code is for the next three months. It's Zane up bra 10 D Okay, put in my coupon code and get $10 off of these bad boys bad gals Most of the strapless bras that I wear they start to slip and this one stayed snug <laughs> So I can dance in it and I can be chill. All right, buddies, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it this All right, buddies, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Be amazing. I love you so, so, so much. I like this light. It's natural. But then it's so messy. Hi, Mariah. My cat keeps disappearing, but she keeps coming back. Hi, Mariah.